Someone asked me to balance this equation here. We have HClO3 plus HBr. So let's give it a try here. We need to first count up all of the atoms here. So we have one hydrogen here, and don't forget the one right here. So one plus one, we have two hydrogens on this reactant side. On the product side, we have one plus two. So we have a total of three hydrogen atoms. We have one chlorine here, and over here we have one chlorine three oxygens, just the one oxygen here, and bromine here, two in the products. So these are the atoms. The thing to be careful about, you have hydrogen here and here. Make sure you count those up, and over here, hydrogen here and here. Got to be careful with that. It looks like I could balance the bromines, but I think I'm going to balance the oxygens, because with the oxygens, when I put a three here, I have the one times the three. That'll give me three oxygen atoms. But now when I count the hydrogens up again, I have the one here plus I have the two times the three, six. So now I have seven hydrogen atoms. Uh, let's see. Since we have the bromine by itself, when we change this coefficient here, it won't change the chlorines or the hydrogens or the oxygens. So let's leave bromine till last. Let's figure out the hydrogens. And the way to think about that is we have the one hydrogen here plus some number that's going to equal 7. So 1 plus 6 is 7. So I'm going to put a coefficient of 6 here. So now I have the 1 plus 6. I have 7 hydrogens. Those are balanced. The bromines, I have 6 times the 1 here. I'll have 6 bromines. And to fix that, I'll put a 3 as my coefficient. 2 times 3, that gives me 6. So you see why I left the bromine until last there. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So this is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HClO3 plus HBr. Thanks for watching.